In the attic of my grandmother's old house, there stood an ornate mirror, its gilded frame tarnished with age and neglect. As a child, I would often sneak up to the attic to gaze into its depths, fascinated by the way the glass seemed to hold a world of its own, a world filled with secrets and mysteries waiting to be uncovered. But as I grew older, I began to notice something unsettling about the mirror, a strange, otherworldly presence that seemed to linger just beyond the surface, its presence felt rather than seen. At first, I dismissed it as mere imagination, the product of an overactive mind searching for meaning in the mundane. But then, one fateful night, everything changed. As I stood before the mirror, lost in thought, I caught sight of a figure standing behind me, a shadowy silhouette that seemed to materialize out of thin air. Frozen in fear, I turned to confront the intruder, but there was no one there, only the empty expanse of the attic stretching out behind me. Shaken but undeterred, I tried to shake off the encounter, convincing myself that it was nothing more than a trick of the light. But as the days passed, strange things began happening, objects moved on their own, whispers echoed through the darkness, and a sense of unease settled over the house like a heavy fog. Desperate for answers, I turned to the mirror, hoping to find some clue to the source of the strange occurrences that plagued our home. But instead of answers, I found only darkness, a yawning abyss that seemed to swallow me whole, pulling me into its depths with an irresistible force. As I stared into the void, I felt a cold chill seep into my bones, a chill that told me I was not alone. That something malevolent lurked just beyond the surface, waiting to claim me as its own. With a sinking heart, I realized that the mirror was not merely a reflection of the world around me, but a gateway to something far more sinister, a portal to the unknown that threatened to consume me whole. Terrified, I tried to break free from its grasp, but the mirror held me fast, its grip tightening with each passing moment. And as I struggled against its pull, I heard a voice, a whisper so faint it was almost imperceptible, yet filled with a sense of malice that sent shivers down my spine. Join us, it hissed, its words echoing through the darkness like a death knell. Join us in the depths of the mirror, where time stands still and eternity stretches on forever. With a cry of terror, I tore myself away from the mirror's grasp, stumbling backwards into the safety of the attic. But even as I fled, I could feel its gaze following me, its hunger growing stronger with each passing moment. To this day, I dare not gaze into the mirror's depths, for I know that the darkness that lurks within is not easily tamed. And as I stand before it now, the memory of that fateful night burning like a scar upon my soul, I cannot help but wonder what other horrors lie waiting to be unleashed from the depths of the mirror's embrace.